Luke chapter 11 verse 37 following. A Pharisee invited Jesus to dine at his house, and incredibly he was rude enough to criticize his guest. Jesus took the opportunity to uncover hypocrisy. Jesus acknowledged that the Pharisee was pretty impeccable when it came to religious duties such as tithing, but he neglected the love of God. What a denouncement that was. He went on to say that all those smaller things, they were important, but that there were other things even more important, such as the love of God. This intensely religious Pharisee had broken an age-old and worldwide rule. He had been rude to his guest. You just don't do that in any culture or nation. Now, how does this situation occur? How can an intelligent man be so committed to obeying godly rules and yet miss the real point? Maybe there's lots of reasons. Most issues are much more complex than we might think. But here's a thought. When I make a show of going to church, of developing my public prayer, and maybe of worshipping in a certain way that suggests I'm on a higher plane, I'm feeding myself, I'm glorifying myself. If I make it known that I study the original languages of the Bible and make others feel a little inadequate, I'm glorifying myself. If I spend hours of time visiting the sick and come home worn to a frazzle and maybe irritable with the family, I'm glorifying myself. Paul said, if I give my body to be burned but neglect true love, I'm a pain in the ear to people. He said, I'm a clashing symbol, and that's what a clashing symbol is, a pain in the ear. It's a revealing metaphor. A clashing symbol gets lots of attention, but it isn't harmonious. Now, some of us are guilty of these sorts of showy things, just like the Pharisee, because we want attention. And why do we want attention? Because the old nature won't go down without a bitter fight. Okay, he says, so you insist on being a Christian, do you? No problem, just so long as I still get attention. I don't care if you're in a church or at the races. Look at me. I am not like other men. Yes, it's pride. Jesus, touch us and teach us your way, which is the way of humility, the way of emptying oneself of all self. Less of me, more of Jesus.